No. This has to move like this. And what about the trajectory of other? They'll collide at point P. Let's, let's assume that this is a point P. And let me define this as origin x axis. <laughs> it the height of the cliff is given 10 meter. Coordinates of point P where they collide x comma y. Okay, now you have to hurry up. Uh, with, with the help of this, you have to get into the, the discussion now. They collide, but how, how they're projected? Are they projected at same instant of time? No, one after the other, some, some time interval. Oh, okay. Cypra now we are fine. But within one minute, how you are able to solve? Within one minute, really can you solve? Cypra now? Uh, go picture and yeah, yes, agreed. Okay, let, let me proceed here. So coordinates of this point. Hmm, okay, let, let this be the y. Let this be x. First ball is projected. So first ball I'll project it. So how to understand this one is so let's say that now at, at 3 p.m. I projected one ball. Here for everyone's understanding. 3 p.m. I projected one ball. Hind, it will <coughs> take some time. Say like a 3, 5 p.m. The other ball I projected at say like a 3, 0, 2 p.m. Okay, then this will make it some 3, 10 something. Huh? Other ball I projected at say like a 3, 4 p.m. Then it will also come and strike at 3, 10 p.m. Both will be it. I think th this what no. So what is the time of flight of this? Some 10 minutes. What is the time of flight of this other one? Six minutes. Actually, uh, okay, we'll do one thing. It will be reverse. It, it will be reverse. It will be reverse. 3, 3 4 p.m. At 3 p.m., I'll project the first one. After 10 minutes, it'll be here. At 4, 3, 4 p.m., after 4 minutes, I'll project here. At 10 p.m., it'll be here. So what was the time of flight of this? Some say six minutes. What is the time of flight of this 10 minutes? The difference in time of flight, what you get? The interval between time of projections? Four minutes. The four minutes is what? Please don't repeat. I, I, I'm going to explain, no, no. No need of anything. Happily listen for me. At 3 p.m. I projected the first one. Then after 10 minutes, it will be at point P. At, at 3, 4 p.m. I projected other ball. 
uh, other is short then 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 after 10 uh, three 10 pm it is here so what are the time of flight of this six minute the time of flight of this 10 minute the difference of that is what the time interval we are going to take care of this one so what is the time interval between projections the difference of time of flight <coughs> of the shorts is what the time interval between projections i think this is the idea the difference in time of flights is the the difference in time of flights is the time interval between shots between firing of shots check check <laughs> abiram answer you can check it this is the very important if you can get this okay you can solve problem otherwise not not possible so i'll take it out that three four huh? because they just i i gave example no no let's go and write the equation so what is the height <coughs> the first ball will descend it will descend h minus small h minus y t1 minus g t1 squared this is for the first ball so we know h h is minus 10 plus y u phi root 3 root 3 by 2 t1 phi t1 squared minus 10 plus y is equal to 515 by 2 t1 keep it in hand this equation We'll, we'll write similarly for the other ball. For other ball, it should be equal to x should be equal to u t2. It's the, the second ball is just projected horizontally. And then, okay, we'll do one thing. I'll, I'll come to later on this. So let me write y equation. So the, for other ball, what is the i title descent? h minus y equal to g t1 square or this is equal to h is how much <coughs> 10 minus y equal to phi t1 square mm, yeah why should we okay ma then the t1 minus t1 okay this is other ball second ball is t2 no sorry Directly, I'll go for T2. Now, then, horizontal component will be x is equal to u cos 60 T1, x equal to u T2. I think all these is set of equations you can take help of and solve it. Coordinates. Mm. Phi, okay, it should be, I think <coughs> we have defined this as origin. So why should be positive, I think, with respect to the foot of the hill is the origin, no? So I think a little bit that negative y will not come. Now first equating this two, we know u, and then let me substitute u, and then I'll get into. This is the equation three. Then similarly for other ball, x equal to u t2.
Anybody? T1 minus T2? One second. Yes, sir. Our coordinates. Pi root three minus pi root three and pi six. Because we have defined this as all chain. Like you don't, I'll, I will go for the next. <coughs> we'll have one more question. Did they yell? No, did they yell? Sir, can you scroll up? Okay, I'm back here. <coughs> 